In this video, we're going to take you on a brief tour to highlight a few grant funded projects that assist in water quality improvement in Queen Anne's County and in the Chesapeake Bay. These projects also support the goals listed in our Watershed Implementation Plan, also known as the WIP. In its simplest form, the WIP allocates the allowable loads of nitrogen, phosphorus, and sediments that can enter the Chesapeake Bay from a variety of different sources. It also identifies strategies for reducing these pollutants in an effort to restore the Chesapeake Bay. All of the states within the Chesapeake Bay watershed have been required by the EPA to develop a WIP, and Maryland has encouraged local participation in the development and implementation of local plans. High quality of life uh, in Queen Anne's County. We are uh, majority agriculture. Uh, it's, our, it's our primary industry. Um, we've got, I think, 70,000 acres preserved in, in, for agriculture, and or it's maybe more than that. We have a lot of farmland. They do a lot. Uh, we, we are really successful, our farmers, at using best management practices to, to, to help uh, mitigate the impact on our, on our waterways and tributaries. One of the interesting features about Queen Anne's County is we have over 29 square miles of water within our county. Uh, we're situated right along the, the Chesapeake Bay and uh, we've got 400 plus miles of waterfront. With those numbers, obviously, we're going to have a significant, significant impact on uh, the quality of the water in the Chesapeake Bay. We have a, a thriving fishing industry. We have a, a, a recreational boating industry. And as a county, we have a responsibility to really take care of issues that we have control over. We take seriously the impact that we have. With the assistance of our WIP team, Queen Anne's County has prepared a local WIP plan and implementation is currently underway. Here are a few quick examples of some Queen Anne's County WIP projects. My name is Eva Kirchner and I am the watershed manager for the town of Centerville. And behind me we have a project called the Wastewater Treatment Plant Outfall Improvements Phase 1. Uh, in the spring of 2010, the MDE inspector discovered an erosion problem here at the site behind the treatment plant, and we unearthed a concrete headwall and a broken 24-inch storm drain pipe. So we did some storm drain improvements, and we hired a contractor and a designer, and what you see behind me is the result of that work. The intent of the project was to remove and dispose of the damaged concrete headwall and broken 24-inch concrete pipe regrade the slopes at the outfall and install three vegetated plunge pools in a step fashion constructed with large sandstone boulders and small silica cobbles. Construction funds were provided by Chesapeake and Atlantic Coastal Bay's 2010 Trust Fund and from Corsica River General Funds from DNR. The 2010 Trust Fund fiscal year 2012 has money earmarked for 300 linear feet of stream restoration downstream of this outfall and are noted as phase two improvements. So there will be additional improvements downstream of this outfall. I'm Lee Edgar, a civil engineer with Queen Anne's County Department of Public Works. I'm standing here this afternoon at a permeable paver parking lot at the White Marsh Park at Bloomfield Farm. This park supports a wide range of active recreational activities for the county in a variety of fields, including soccer, lacrosse, ballparks, driving range, and even the fishing pond. This park exists within the Corsica Watershed, and it provides home to the annual Corsica Watershed Awareness Day. The land for this park was acquired through a partnership between the original owners, the county, and state and federal funds. One of the requirements of the funding was that the park needed to be developed with low impact development and environmentally sensitive uh, design features. Uh, so as a result, we were looking for opportunities for grant funding to support parking lots that are pervious that would allow the water to infiltrate through and create no runoff. We created a variety of wetlands to further enhance the environment. True to the historical element of this farm, portions of the property still remain in agriculture and uh, are operated in uh, demonstration agriculture type means such that people who visit the park can view traditional farming practices. Construction of the park is ongoing and will continue to be for several years. Uh, we have a phase plan which began with first the site grading, installation of some parking lots, and a lot of the recreational uh, features. We receive grants from the Maryland uh, Department of Natural Resources, 
Maryland Department of the Environment, as well as stimulus funding that helps support the installation of these parking lots. Department of Public Works and Parks and Recreation crews did a lot of the work in constructing this park. Future phases will include the installation of even more recreational fields, the expansion of parking lots such as these to support the additional growth of the park, and the construction of ADA compliant walking pads throughout the park, which also will be made of pervious materials. We're standing at the upstream portion of a coastal plain outfall in the Kerwin Landing community of Chester. Queen Anne's County developed the Kerwin and Goodhands Creek Watershed Management Plan in 2007 as a first step toward identifying and prioritizing strategies which would improve water quality and protect the natural resources surrounding Kerwin Creek. Through the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation, Queen Anne's County was very fortunate to receive a sizable grant which allowed us to implement many of the phases identified by the Watershed Management Plan. Working with a variety of project partners, including the neighboring landowners, the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation, RCND, MDE, DNR, we all worked together to come up with a solution which would not only address the eroding stream bed, but provide water quality of the neighboring agricultural fields and provide a beautiful landscape that everyone in the community could enjoy. This project consisted of installing a sand bed layer within the existing eroding channel. That sand was sculpted to create a series of shallow depressions. We used some cobblestone weirs to create uh, some stepping pools, which slowly allowed the water to step down on its way to the creek in a non-erosive manner. This retrofit is just one of five tasks within this community. Through the variety of our project partners and members of this community, we were able to install this 350 feet of stream restoration, over 20,000 square feet of wetland enhancement, 500 feet of living shoreline, and over 7,000 native plants. Right now, we're currently standing in, in, in a, a county-owned parking lot in the town of Centerville, our county seat. It's our, it's our health department. This is a great project, this parking lot. This is, a, this is an old, old parking lot. Queen Anne's County, uh, with forward thinking, thought that this would be a, a good opportunity to incorporate some, some stormwater management and uh, apply for some grants to help us pay for this and with, with, along with our, with our in-kind work that we provided. We were able to put in a total upgrade. This parking lot here really essentially had no stormwater management whatsoever. Everything that was on this parking lot ran right down the road and into the Corsica River. So, we're taking advantage of the, of the grade here in the slope, they incorporated these uh, infiltration basins to catch the runoff with the curbs. Uh, this captures heavy stormwater runoff and, and allows it to percolate into the soil, into the ground, never really reaching the Corsica River. Uh, along with that, uh, we've used a pervious uh, concrete paving system here that we've, it's essentially an apron all the way around the perimeter of this parking lot. All the water that's not captured into the, into the basins still runs across this parking lot because there is a slope all the way from one end to the other. Any of the water that hits this uh, pervious uh, uh, concrete will actually go right through it. It, it will take heavy volumes of water on, on, on rain. I've seen uh, fire trucks with their fire hoses put water on these, uh, these surfaces and it goes right through. Now these are just a few examples. Queen Anne's County also has other projects in various stages of development that will keep us busy for years. Queen Anne's County has been a good steward for the environment. We have obligations as a county to, to protect our waterways and you know part of that part of that solution is uh, looking forward in, 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 a, in a green way uh, for all development projects, redevelopment projects to really think ahead and far in advance to decide can these projects incorporate green infrastructure. If we're going to do the project, this is the opportunity, this is the time to do it. Along with the WIP, the current comprehensive plan and water resources element provide objectives, strategies, and tools that will enable the county to further promote environmental protection so that our future generations can enjoy our magnificent Chesapeake Bay. For more information on the Watershed Implementation Plan, please visit our website at qac.org. Just click on the link to Planning and Zoning and follow it to the Watershed Implementation page. There you will find local information and links to other organizations such as Maryland Department of the Environment and the Environmental Protection Agency.